It is time to go on an adventure through time and space with me, Valued Poppy. Today we're going to be continuing the Loving Snails campaign. In it, we play as the Loving Snails. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the first episode, there are a few mods here. Basically, we started before there were was FTL. So we have to colonize our home system, and they allow it so that you could colonize your home uh, celestial bodies here. Regardless of their habitability type. Now, I kind of like this mod because it kind of adds a little bit more realism, because you're probably going to develop your, your home system a lot more before you're able to effectively colonize other systems. So, I like it. Anyway... Let's get to business here. We have a few people that want to name a planet. Here's the first one. Energy Hub. You are named to... The Moderate Planet. There we go. And we gotta name a planet Archeron. I think that's how you pronounce it. Mm, I did some research on the Greek god, and I decided it'd be more appropriate to put him here. Something about a river to the underworld, I suppose. But don't worry, this planet's going to be fantastic. Alright, those are the only two requests I got. If any of you want to name a planet or anything else, tell me. Anyway, let's get going. Grandmaster Sheldon is 138. He's about to witness two new planets be added to the Empire. Yes, good. We need more planets. More planets be added. Ash. We need to expand in order to survive and grow the economy. Good. Another planet. Build. Build. Oh, it's another hot world. Well, you could live. We could build buildings faster. Prosperity. I haven't been moving this colony ship. Well, that's okay. We're off to colonize Acheron. Go. Colonize it. Faster. Hmm. What should we choose? This. Oh yeah, that. Not a single leader has died in this campaign so far. Hope it remains the case. That'd be nice. Real nice. Construction project concluded. Watch this. Watch this. No. No. No! We're alone! This can't be! We have encountered some form of alien vessels in the Oskoshin system. These strange objects have been flagged as a Delta Menace. Until we can learn more about them, we should proceed with caution. Interesting. Oh dear. Contact report. Enigmatic space fares. Hogville is in an uproar following the news of unidentified ships sighted in the void. Their intentions are known. It would be prudent to assume the worst. Worrying. Oh, by the way, we're just in this system for now, as you probably all know. What's what's here? What's here? What's here? Let's take a look at these things. I I expected something. Yeah, the, 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 these are just random objects. Ah, that th these are what the signals came from a long time ago. Yeah, all of these things. Yeah, the the, the these are just anomalies. They aren't true thingies. They are fascinating. No, they're not creatures. They're, they're, they're not creatures. Don't say that to the public. They're, 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 they're strange blobs. 
They're flying blobs. They're flying blobs. To the, to the press. They're, 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 they're blobs that aren't sentient that are flying. We're alone. The galaxy's eyes. And if they aren't alone, the other inter intelligent species are also snails. That is what we're determining here. That is what we are trying to accomplish. Everybody should understand. Ooh, I forgot to build things here. But we are such advanced snails. It doesn't matter as much. They won't be forced. At least we have at least this much habitable edge. How dare you migrate? How dare you? Unemployment. Mm. Mm. Crystalline entities are unbreakable. The, uh, the crystalline entities the name itself a com compromise between rival factions of Xeno biologists and Xeno geologists on Hugville are probably alive. No! No, they're not! They're not alive! An earlier and perhaps more descriptive name for them was Silicate Animate Matter, yes. As they have little in common with biological life, yeah. They are solitary beings, not beings. Each in the now! Each individual crystalline sovereign rarely seen with more than a sentinel and a smaller cohort entity. Aside from the cohort and sentinel clearly being subservient to the sovereign of the group, the subtle nuisance of the crystalline entities' socio hierarchical relationships are lost on us. Now, that is a coincidence! The entities do not seem to mate, and we have yet to observe any crystals that are recognizably older or younger than others. Contrary to an early hypothesis, the shifts in hue between individual crystal entities seem to be related not to their age, but to their latent internal charge, which can be violently unleashed, and it appear as though sporadic fluctuations in this charge alter the reflective properties of the crystal. They're flying crystals! Period! They're not alive! We gotta protect ourselves. Good initiative, I suppose. Coward! Coward! Initial colonization I wanna go home! Farming subsidies, keep that going. The more plus food we have, the, like, we get 25%, 26% pop growth more. Alpha of age. Alright. Keep the food surplus high. More food means more population to fill all these empty spaces of potential. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell is that? What the hell is that? Ah! A tubular alien entity has entered orbit of Science Hub 3. With no warning or explanation, it appears to be moving without engines or thrusters, gliding in complete silence through the void of space. Cylinders are rotating ominously. Through it has yet to be display any signs of aggression. It refuses to acknowledge our hails. Our military advisors warn that it may pose considerable threat to the inhabitants below, and implore us to engage neutralization protocols. Our scientists, however, plead that we instead learn from this remarkable piece of technology. It's a tube! A tube? What? Why is a tube here? No! Tube their destruction! Uh, well, we don't have any military ships. Fine. Fine. Study it. Study it. It, it, it's not a lot. It, 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 uh, um, hmm. The civilization that built it were snails. And they were far away. Yeah, that that's what I'll say. Don't panic. Don't panic. It is just a tube. 
It's moving. It's moving. Hey, it's a tube. Run away. Run away from the tube. Run away. Punch the tube. Research concluded. It's a tube. No. Well, I guess there might be aliens. Well, this tube think it is. You say you could fly around. Where did the tube go? No, the tube. Uh. You, you and your spin. You're, uh, up, 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 moving away. Despite extensive research on the tube, its origins are shrouded in mystery, and they aren't. We confirmed that other snails have made it. Yes, it just it, the, the, the other snails have identified us as fellow snails and are coming to greet us themselves. We're avoiding these two for now. Construction Upgrade. There's an infection. What kind of infection? Build hospitals. Hospitalize. Good. Switch hospitalizage. Yes. Well, that was easy. Ooh. Let's get back to business. Shall we? This tube goes everywhere, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, it run away. Yeah. And uh, no knows we, we can we can do something to it. Don't run into the burgers. No. Okay, good, good. We didn't run into the burgers. Good. My burgers. We search faster. Uh, running away, yay! Run it, he's still running. Go, go. Construction project go back to where you came from. You're made by snails, I swear. Rare masters. It is time for a 2305 checkup on all the planets and how we're doing. Given to you by S S Sheldon. Yes, Hugville is doing quite well. Has good minerals, good science, and moderate unity, as always, and good energy. The moderate planet, yes, you named it this, has over a hundred energy production. Fantastic, really. Energy Hub 2 also is kind of getting there, I suppose. Many people are moving there. Science Hub 2 is developing nicely. Almost fully populated, it seems. Science Hub 3, on the other hand, needs a little bit of work. Food Hub. The place where all of our food is made. Producing a lot of food. Good. Consuming a hell of a lot of energy, though. Mineral Hub. Again, good numbers. Fully populated. Science Hub 3 is developing quite well. Pretty much fully populated and decent science. And Science Hub. Had some people move out. Acheron is going to be another food planet. To sustain our empire. That is all for this report. I'll fill you in. In the next decade. On matters of economic development. And science development, food development, and energy development, and also prosperity. I'm a snail. Ooh, doing that really helped. Now we have administrative operations. It's the people's planets. It's the people's dies. It's the people's lives. Yes, yeah. Our economy is doing good, Grandmaster Sheldon. Yeah, so always, yeah.
Yes, I'm from the Hugland Post. Um, how did you achieve this economic success? Yes. Yes again, okay. I didn't have to pay back. Yes, our population has reached 172 across 10 worlds. Oh yeah, we're also playing with extended traditions and perks. And, and ascension perks, yeah. We're researching all rare technologies. I'm maniacal. Ooh, research speed. I'm old. I'm a snail. Ooh, ascension perk. What should we get? Hmm. 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 Well, phonetic researches or engineered evolution. Fanatic researchers, we are doing science. Elections? What do you people want? I, Grandmaster Sheldon, have brought prosperity to the Empire. We're only in one system, though. Yes, but we have all we need here. All we need. I'm back. After a long time waiting, I shall have my position back. We don't own slaves! I'm a snail. Oh dear. The people love me. My policies are the people love me, so I'm gonna love them back. I like, I like investing. And I'll shoot anything that gets into our system, unless it's that tubular scary thing. It's just a tube. I like mining. I want to explore. Why are we still in this system? Why haven't we moved? Ah, ah, I want to get out. I'm a snail. Well, I like to explore too. I think I'm a very charismatic person. There's no slaves. No, no. We'll see what the people think. Yeah, yeah, just, just use a little bit of this. Ah, totally fair election. Totally fair. Everybody says it's fair. Just ask them. I wanna go home! No, you don't. Everyone's staying. Everyone's staying. Why am I here? Why are any of us here? I want to write a book about these questions. You want discovery traditions? I'll give you discovery traditions. There. You're happy. Ish. You'll never be entirely happy. Some people just can't impress. It's time to stockpile a whole bunch of food. Energy. That is it for that episode. Tune in next time for more, and as always, like and subscribe, and see you soon.